OK, so we have 3 times 3 times 3 times 3, 5 times 5 times 5 times 5. Now, by the way, on a quiz and stuff, if you're not sure about the rules or you're forgetting the rules or a little bit insecure, do it. Maybe not with such big exponents, but just do it with small exponents, and you'll always find what the correct formula is. Because look what I can do here. I have a, a 3 and a 5 that match up perfectly. And then I've got another 3 and a 5 that match up perfectly, another 3 and a 5 that match up perfectly, and another 3. They, they match up perfectly. I can put them together, and I could write it like this, because with multiplication, the order doesn't make a difference. 3 times 5, 3 times 5, 3 times 5, and that last special one, which I'll use in regular font now, 3 times 5. You see I put them together? 3 times 5. Three times five. So what do I see? This is 15, 15, 15, 15. And how many do I have? I have four of them. So this actually equals 15 to the fourth power. So this was actually wrong. When you have different bases, but you're raising them to the exact same power, then in fact you can combine them like this and just take the product of the bases raised to the same power. Is that a great mystery? No, not at all. It's just a matter of writing it out and seeing it. So in fact, let me write that rule out. And that rule would look like this. It would be if I have a to the n and a different base, b, but to the same power to the n, this is just a, b, all to the n. So that's pretty easy. That's not a problem at all. OK, now, let's see. How about if we wanted to look at something really common? Oh, by the way, division works the same way. I always forget. Division and multiplication, they're just twins. So let me just write that down real fast. If I have a to the n, and I divide it by b, but to the same power, same power, then this is just a divided by b all to the n. You know, I sometimes forget to mention division. It's sort of sad because it's sort of getting a, a bum rap on this. But you know, division is good, but it's always the same thing as multiplication in these cases with exponents. So OK, great. So that takes care of multiplying two uh, things where the bases are the same. You add the exponents. If, in fact, the exponents are the same, you keep the exponent and just multiply the thing, base, the bases. And, and where does this come from? Just by writing it out, and you can see all the terms, see all the terms there. OK, let's try now one example using these rules. And let's consider the following. Here's an expression. Two x to the fifth, y to the fourth, all cubed. Let's see if we can write that out without any parentheses at all. So what's the first thing I would do? I would see that I have three terms here, and I'm cubing the whole thing. So that means I'd first cube this term, I'd then cube this term, and I'd then cube that term. So if I were to write this out in great detail, more detail than probably you even want to see, it would be 2 cubed multiplied by x to the fifth, all cubed, multiplied by y to the fourth, all cubed. And now how are we going to deal with this? Well, well, 2 cubed, you know, is 8. So that's not a problem. But what about this term right in here? What about x to the fifth cubed? Well, how would you deal with that? Well, again, the way you would think about how that would work is to write it out. So let's do a real simple example and then come back and see why this would be. Let's put in here, for example, 2 to the fifth cubed. Write it out. So what do I see? I see 2 to the fifth, 2 to the fifth, and 2 to the fifth. And what do I do when the bases are the same? I add the exponents. And so what I would see here would be 2 to the 5 plus 5 plus 5, which is 15. What's the rule? How do I get with 5 and 3, 15? I multiply. So in fact, when I see something to a power, and that whole thing is raised up to another power, I multiply the powers together. And that's the rule. In fact, let me write that down as an actual rule so you can have that. In general, what that says is if you take a that's raised to the n, but then you raise the whole thing to the m power, what you have is just a to the n times m. A great mistake, by the way. Let me show you a really great mistake. This didn't make my top 10 list. But you, know, you want to know all the mistakes, don't you? Of course you do. Here's a great mistake. This one is a real, real winner. You take a to the n, raise it to the m, and then you say that's going to be a to the n raised to the m power. Woo! Now that's a biggie. That's a biggie, but it's not a correcty. It's a wrongy, but a biggie. This is wrong. And the actual reality is this. And again, it's not something you should memorize. It's just something that you should understand. And the idea is that if you just write it out, you'll see that you'll have m many n's. So you put them all together, it's m times n. 
Armed with that, we can now proceed, because what happens here? Well, this is just a, a friendly 8. Here I see x to the, now is it 5 cubed? Is it 5 plus 3? Is it 5 times 3? Well, it's multiplication, because I'm raising something to a power to another power, so I multiply these, and I get 15. That's what we just saw. And then I have y to the 4 times 3, which is 12. So in fact, this expression can be written without any parentheses, just as 8x to the 15th times y to the 12th. And there you have a way of using these tools and facts about laws of exponents to actually simplify things. And we'll use that an awful lot.